Good morning, good day, good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV episode 499. Next time it will be 500. Uh, today, uh, let's take a Belgian chocolate. Cafetas. Cafetas. 77% uh, extra noir, extra dark. This is cocoa mass, sugar, fat reduced cocoa powder. Why? Emulsifier, soy lecithin. Where's the. So there is no cocoa butter in this one? Okay, that's new. Uh, I should. Well, 77%. That's quite dark chocolate. And if we open this one up, you can see. Cafe, tas. Very dark, uh, very dark, dark, dark brown uh, with a black kind of hue. Uh, so I don't know the beans, but I would guess African Forastero beans. I'm not sure. So let's uh, break off a piece. Good crack. Uh, nice, 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 fine, 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 fine crystal structure. And let's smell this one. Yep. Dark chocolate, actually kind of um, woody character as well. Uh, I would say cedar, uh, uh, wood like that, uh, quite aromatic, uh, but still dry, 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 dry. The hints of black tea as well, and maybe some macadamia nuts dried macadamia nuts so let's taste it hmm. it melted maybe i'm warm today usually not Definitely a dark chocolate. Creamy, rich. Hint of acidity going through. Orange citrus feel to it. But dark chocolate, black tea, roasted nuts. I would also kind of say that it's some sort of plum, blue plums. Surprisingly fruity for being 77%. And surprisingly sweet, but that if it's no cocoa butter in it, there's more sugar. That could be one explanation. Um, and a very dry chocolatey ending, dark chocolatey ending. Nice piece of chocolate, actually, very nice. Um, what is it? Seven or, seven or eight, seven or eight. Hmm. I'd say a uh, seven, a strong seven. Oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going that way. I'm saying seven. Uh, solid. Buy it, try it. Make up your own mind and have a nice week.